Alrighty, hey everybody. You guys are watching some old footage I never put up. Uh, this is a DAK I used to have. If you go back through the archive of videos, you probably see where I actually advertised the machine for sale and sold it. Uh, this is not too long after I just bought it. And I went out and I ran it and I thought, hey, this is pretty good video making here. And uh, you know what? It actually it, it wasn't worth a crap because the ground was frozen and just couldn't really get through the frost layer. You'd bust through in a few places and I ran it a little bit. Jim actually filmed, but uh, anyway, never uploaded, so make good background for today's video. Ah, uh, yes, roll that to coal. Love it. So I thought for the first thing I was going to do, here's go through some of the commentary that was left on some of the last uh, videos. Uh, and the last video was me um, making a comment, what's this say? Hmm, hmm, hmm. On a uh, undercarriage I pulled back home, and you guys are going to see more of that soon. And right now I'm configuring steel for it. There was some comments left that were actually correct, and you guys are just going to have to uh, stay watching to uh, see it all unfold. So, and yes, Mr. Moon and Mike, yes, Callie loves her lobster. <laughs> Lots of bribes of lobster. So you're going to love the end of this video. Uh, let's see here. Um, Highway 30 eastbound in Tama County, yes. Uh, actually, Callie's from over in that area, and uh, so we go by there quite regularly. We actually went to Mona's uh, Cello, Cromingo Motors, where I picked up that undercarriage and pulled it a uh, long ways home. <laughs> and uh, uh, eastbound in Tama County, still west on Highway 21 at Cuz 8 Foot Phil. Uh, that contractor is actually doing that, CJ Moyna. Anybody knows CJ Moyna? CJ Moyna is a contractor in the state of Iowa. But he also owns Eject Scrapers, which is Mobile Track Solutions now, where he modifies Cat 740s. Uh, I've talked to his little protege up there, Justin Augustine, who uh, was almost, uh, let's just say we, we didn't ever bring it to fruition, but we were going to and uh, build a, a, a larger uh, tractor pulled scraper. And they, they did. They, they went up to the 30-yard uh, uh, capacity uh, scraper. For farm tractors, but anyway, it's just, I'm glad now with the way things are, you know, as far as Agicom, I'm, I'm uh, glad I didn't buy it. And uh, keeping on the trend of the last video here, uh, Ryan uh, Mushin, he uh, commented on there. Uh, thanks, Ryan. Good to hear from you as always. Uh, I hope they keep going west, but uh, they're not. Uh, there's actually the site plans I saw on that project. It was about a $290 million project, I believe. But they're linking up the four lane there. It's over by uh, Cedar Rapids, and they're going to uh, run it on over to um, where it links up four lanes down there by the uh, casinos. So, yeah, there you go. There's your there's your Iowa trivia. If you're not from Iowa, you'll never understand any of that because it's about the only large earth moving project going on in Iowa in the entire state. Anyway, <laughs> it's 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 that bad. Uh, anyway, got some negative comments on my ending music for Cali. I <laughs> got some really good commentary on there, so whatever. Uh, I did the uh, video the other day where I talked about perspective. So, you know, ultimately what every single thing comes down to is perspective. It is opinions. And a lot of times when I talk about certain subjects going on right now, you're getting my opinion, you're getting my perspective, and I'm really ecstatically pleased to hear that there are people out there that think the same way. So that brings a smile to my eye. Um, but, uh, you know, again, it's 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 a channel I do, and it's my perspectives. Um, thinking about maybe making some changes to the channel, I don't know what direction I want it to go yet. Um, but uh, anyway, I do love, appreciate all the new subscribers. And maybe even think about renaming it since the channel was originally designed uh, for advertisement tool for the business. But I've decided to take it a different route as of basically the start of 2018 when I said to myself, hey, I'm going to start doing more YouTube vlogs and things like that and uh, see what I can make out of it. Anyway, so hope you guys will continue to stay with. Um, back to the comments here. Let's see here. Football owners, oh, okay, this was on my idea of uh, perspective. Uh, football owners get rich and players get concussions. Oh, that's accurate, completely accurate. Yeah, most of these football owners get a lot of damn money, too. Those NFL team owners, there, <laughs> there's some pretty damn good coin in the NFL. 
Um, God, those NFL guys, they, they make money on that crap. I was out in Lincoln, Nebraska the other day. Uh, you guys will find out why in the future. Um, anyways, out there, and and that's the home of the Nebraska Cornhuskers for football. Crap, I mean, they ended up, they, they got parking meters, but they ended up giving, like, free parking for the day when the Cornhuskers are playing. So, I mean, the amount of money that's not generated special things, police escorts, uh, stuff like that that they get for these football teams is astronomical. Yeah, there's a next clip there. The other one ran out on this uh, DAK deal. Uh, yes, we do, and hopefully China gets things going. The man and corn beans demands goes up as well. Well, you know what? I hope so, too. I guess we're getting our second Trump payment. God, I hope we get some better prices here soon. Um, damn, we need them. We're doing our balance sheets. I've talked about this before. It's just... You just about can't have any money borrowed right now. If you own a bought land and you bought a tractor, it's just it's about as negative as it could possibly get. I was 150 miles away looking at a used planter. Um, more on that coming as well. Uh, I didn't end up buying it. But uh, anyway, a uh, farmer down there is telling me the same story. I go 300 miles away to get this uh, wagon undercarriage. The guy that worked at the dealership, he was uh, also a weekend farmer. And, uh, you know, I, I get the same story from him. And if you get a 400-mile spread and we're all saying the same story as, as farmers, we're all getting fucked. That's just all it comes down to. We're all getting freaking screwed. And it's not in a good way. I mean, um, <laughs> uh, it's it's just low profit, low, low profit right now. It's kind of making existence, and anybody renting land, why the hell are they doing it and making 35 bucks an acre on some of this stuff? I don't know what the hell, you know, I know guys are paying $250 an acre and got 50 bushel beans. Uh, let's see here, Chris uh, commented, the hard truth is greed is taking the whole, taking the, uh, whole process, every legislator and CEO are driven by it, the whole system is driven by it. Good video, a lot to think about. Well, thank you. Yes, yes, you're completely right. Uh, good news, we're getting a second payment. already commented on that. Um, Mr. Steve Schneider, uh, uh, SS Schneider Trucking, good guy. This country as a whole is a broken period. Um, they go to Washington and vote themselves on a pay increase. It's the American working belt. Yeah, that's, that's completely accurate. And most of the bastards, it's like I said, everything comes down to perspective in this country. Or, 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 or person, per, person to person to person comes down to perspective. So if you're driven by greed and you're driven by what you can do for yourself, which is totally the opposite of what they're supposed to be in there for um yeah that's what happens it's just a country of paid off greed and bullshit honestly it's probably the only system of government that would really work as a benevolent dictator well 99.99 percent of the time you get a dictator you're not going to get a benevolent one so anyway uh, <laughs> Uh, 312 was a damn good looking machine. Love the progressive thumb. Yeah, that was a great that was a great thumb. It was, it was actually called a, a Cat Pro Plus thumb, and that was a uh, that's a really good thumb. It was a nice machine. This old DAK here in the uh, video right now that you guys are seeing that was a solid solid tractor. God, that was a good one. It had factory cab and air conditioning. It was a damn nice machine. Um, looking through other commentary here. Um, Uh boy, I got some kind of negative feedback on and some positive feedback on the uh, CTL videos I did. I actually had one guy tell me how he likes to have a cat machine better. Uh, you know, go for it, man. If you like your cats, go for it. I, I've had a cat, 299D, had a brand new John Deere 333G at the same time. Nobody. I mean, I've had five operators for both machines, including myself, and nobody says that cat's a better machine than John Deere. Because it just isn't. It does not have the lift. It does not have the grading abilities. It does not have the push power. You can roll dirt clear up to the top of the cab of that John Deere, and that cat would not. Cubic yards per hour, lift height, travel speed. It is not there with the Caterpillar. Mm, anyway. I wonder what rabbit you're, how the hat you're going to 
pop out next. Anyway, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. More cool stuff coming. Enjoy the end of this video. You're right, Mr. Chief Snyder. What rabbit am I going to pull out of the hat next? The bottom line is, eggs in the shitter right now. I am working on budgets. I'm doing things that are going to enable us to go forward. And I am uh, doing things that give us a good future on our farm, which is first and foremost, the YouTube things is something I do for fun on the side. But hope to build. Hope you guys continue to watch. And I look forward to you guys. Uh, as I draw a little bit of suspense in here, I look forward to you guys watching and uh, following me for what I'm going to be doing. So, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest. Well, I'm out tonight at another restaurant. It's a beautiful restaurant. Really cool view, but look at this. This is getting ridiculous. I got this amazing dry-aged beef. She's got a giant sea urchin. These things look like dogs. I mean, they're just they're like 37 pounders over here. Smile. Damn, this is just getting ridiculous. $400 a lobster. Well, I should have that much. Better love it. Oh, she still doesn't want to be on YouTube. Look, she turns away. Whatever. You eat your dirty sea scum. I'll be over here enjoying my cow. Good bread, it's a good place. I like it.